Rear view mirror, rear view mirror, rear view mirror. Don't need to look behind me. Don't need to look behind me. Don't need to look behind me. Don't. Malignant shit. What is up, people? After a very, very long day, we are shooting this super late at night on a Saturday. But it's Jimmy Wan, man. Malignant. It's been getting uh, an interesting mix to reviews here. It's got pretty solid critic score, pretty low audience score. So sounds like it's gonna be our kind of movie. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fun. That's just the vibe I'm fun. getting. If you end up enjoying our reaction, hit the like button or the dislike button. I don't really care which one. As long as you hit one, depending on your feelings, a-okay with that. Full length watch alongs where you sync up with the time code for Malignant or over at our Patreon page and over there we cover a whole bunch of shows. Or at the same tier you get the option for both reaction highlights and watch along included. And thank you to Pratham Jindal for editing down these highlights. Let's do it people. Dr. Weaver, he got out again. I tried to subdue him with ECT, but the electroshock had no effect on him. Then all the machines started going crazy. It was like he was drinking the electricity and controlling our machines. Ooh. <laughs> oh. oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, what? <laughs> oh my god. He speaks. He's broadcasting his thoughts. I swear that guy's a nurse on a CSI show. It's time we cut out the cancer. <laughs> 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 Interesting. What do you mean a hard time? Just a little more agitated than usual. Do we have any Tylenol? They say I couldn't take aspirin. If you've got all this pain, maybe you shouldn't be going to work. I'll be fine. I promise. Hey, I was watching that. You're barely watching <laughs> it. Maybe you need to stop getting pregnant. I just really need to lie down. You know, the doctor said this could happen again, right? How many times do I have to watch my children die inside of you? What the fuck? <laughs> is this a dream? Are you saying this is my fault? Are you saying this keeps happening? Oh. Oh. Cut her! Bitch! Whoa. I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna get you some ice, okay? Okay, I'm gonna get you some ice. Hold on. And Tylenol, too. Not aspirin. Oh, you do not want to be having the baby of that guy. Uh... Ooh. Oh, God. Jesus. This is a fun horror movie. <laughs> Just like Insidious. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> oh, there's like a shadow over him from a human shadow for a second, I think. <laughs> oh no, oh god, that uh, looks good. <laughs> oh, she's still bleeding. bleeding. Jesus Christ. Patch that up. Oh my god, go to the hospital. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> gross. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> <laughs> Those crunchy contortions. Oh no, oh, no. <laughs> Dang. The amount of head trauma this woman is going through is absurd. <laughs> Recite your name, your birth date, your address. <laughs> oh man. Don't go to sleep. <laughs> Good morning, Rush. I really love the colors in this movie so far. Yeah. Holy shit. He's still alive? <laughs> just kidding, just, just rest for my baby. Where is she? I don't believe this. Wow. Why does James Wan hate this woman so much? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna find out. <laughs> The doctor said your sister had three miscarriages in the last two years. I don't know why she wouldn't have told me. If there's anything, just give me a call. Yeah, thank you. Everyone on Twitter's right. This movie's full of so much camp. <laughs> <laughs> so silly so far. Jeez, James Wan. Mr. Mitchell used to knock Mrs. Mitchell around. He beat her? No forced entry. An abusive husband. Motive. Yeah. And means for her to gain the strength to do something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Got a straw right there. Gotta leave the bones sticking out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Double door? <laughs> it took me a second. <laughs> Oh, wow. Cool. So fish. Wow. Whoa, Jeez. what a cool shot. <laughs> Damn. How? Yeah, what the fuck? What? <laughs> Where are the wipes or what is this house? <laughs> you can just feel that this movie's gonna get like fucking bonkers. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, yeah. Cool establishing shot. Like, oh crap, it's already going like this. Yeah, it's like there was like a monster baby in the prologue, so. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's a great shot of did the shadow kill her in her form from yeah. the head trauma there. <laughs> Symbolism. About leaving him. By the time I got the courage, I got pregnant. I wanted to know what it felt like to, to have a blood connection with someone, a biological connection. Mom and Dad took me in when I was eight. I don't remember anything before that. Mom told me that my biological mother died during my birth. Sydney, I'm adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> I've never seen this from the opposite angle. <laughs> What a specific type of script. Yeah. yeah. Like the, di the, the dialogue to match this tone, it's really, really interesting. You can't be down here. Why don't you go plug those lights back in? <laughs> Whoa! 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 What the hell? <laughs> the face of that thing. Gabriel, who are you? I'm sorry, who is this? Hello? <laughs> Excellence in surgery. <laughs> There's no place we cannot fit an ominous zoom. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> This is my house! Who are you? 
<laughs> oh no. What's happening? Oh no. Who are you? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want from me? To show you what the cancer. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> wow. Damn. God. The weird little perspective jiggles and everything, too. That's how James Wan described it. I want my perspective jiggles. <laughs> Part of my signature. <laughs> what if Jigsaw? It's even kind of going lived back to his saw days. Yes, yeah, right? so, so, <laughs> Jigsaw lived in the further. <laughs> And like, it's like all of James Wan with a gelato vibe to it. I just said gelato. Gelato. <laughs> yes, Italian I ice know. cream. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, it's I'm very not delicious. correcting myself. We're no, sticking with gelato it from here. Gelato on. film right here. Pure gelato. <laughs> Milk and eggs, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she just really does that fuck with you, man. <laughs> She's like, when's it gonna come? This shot? This shot? This shot? <laughs> That's what I'm asking you so well. Self-awareness in this movie. <laughs> See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you, Juan. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, cool. It's like sleep paralysis, but worse. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. What is her connection to this thing? Is it like an evil tumor they cut out of her that is still connected to her or something? What exactly did you see? He killed again. This time across from the Silver Cup Apartments in North Beacon Hill. I googled it. Great. Wikipedia Brown here just solved the case. <laughs> Madison saw Dr. Weaver die as it happened. Subtle Mr. Sunday movies shout out. <laughs> if she's wrong, you can have her committed and you can put the cuffs on me. Is there a thing happening with them or something? <laughs> I cannot tell. <laughs> what about your guns? <laughs> Doors open, must be crime. <laughs> So I'm putting out a bolo on sloth from the Goonies. Do we fucking beat her? She's Jesus. going to cry if I did that. She, yeah, like. <laughs> I know you know you're suspect of her, but still. So that was '93 when the tumor was cut out, right? Yeah. Now this movie has me trying to figure out whatever the hell the twist is. Yeah, I know. Okay. <laughs> Damn. Title's malignant, it's gotta mean something. Yeah. <laughs> Your fake mother gave you the name Madison. Your shitty marriage gave you the name Mitchell. But you'll always be Emily to me. Who are you? You know who I am. Even if they say I'm only in your head. 
<laughs> cool. Yeah. It's a good reveal. Oh, hell. She was the doctor's patient. Ha <laughs> ha! such cheesy dialogue. I love it. <laughs> During the adoption, did they say if I had a, a brother or anything? The only thing they would say is if they were siblings, they tried to place them in the same family. Then who the hell is Gabriel? Shut your mouth, little girl. Why'd you say that name? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop saying that. They are. Money. Who are you talking to? Gabriel. <laughs> Is he your imaginary friend? Gabriel isn't made up. He says that you are. He says you're not my real family. <laughs> my little Christmas cuties right here. Maddie, playtime's over. And it will come down the chimney. 94, yeah. yeah, okay. Mommy said she'd love me when the baby comes. She said nothing would change. I won't. Please don't hurt the baby. Maddie, what's going on? Is that mechanic race? It's go to <gasps> horror girl. <laughs> so, Gabriel was something that I made up. Whatever you went through before you joined our family, it hurt you in a way that I can't even imagine. I always figured you created Gabriel so that you could survive that. We thought if we gave you enough love, you wouldn't need him anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Try telling that to Gabriel. <laughs> I hope we weren't wrong. But you're way wrong. You play dead bodies now. Today marks the seventh year since Emily May was entrusted into our care. Emily started exhibiting signs of mental psychosis. She says she's seeing visions and hearing thoughts from the devil. I've contacted Dr. John Gregory, Arthur Hopkins, as well as Dr. Victor Fields. Dr. Florence Weaver, Dr. Victor Fields, working the same case, along with Dr. John Gregory. Holy shit. John Gregory? Wow. That's our days. <laughs> what did we do? Should be Gregory John. I'm just really shit. I'm sorry, man. It's okay, John. Oh, I'll call Jimmy one after this. <laughs> I'm changing. <laughs> Can do that on HBO. Oh, no. Ooh. No. Time for another murder. Yeah. In the shower. Maybe it is. Maybe you're right. Maybe it is like something carved out of her. But nah, even that's too predictable. <laughs> Gotta be something more weird. Something crazier. <gasps> oh, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. That, oh no. He's still here. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, no. Ah. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, I'm a six search. <laughs> okay, we try that. <laughs> Don't follow him. <laughs> Call for backup. Get your partner at least. She could take care of this. <laughs> yeah, you smart. You smart. Stop going. <laughs> Stop. I don't want you to Just die. let him go. Ow. What is the anatomy of this guy? I know, he's like backwards and forwards and everything. <laughs> oh, just call it quits, man. You already, you you're, can, you're you can confirm it's, top of the year. You know what it looks like now. <laughs> you know she's telling the truth. I'm gonna need to commentary this video. <laughs> 
<laughs> CLPD. <laughs> If he just like got in there, Gabriel just went in there and crashed. <laughs> <laughs> so Gabriel does parkour. Fuck me. <sighs> I'm gonna go now. Just uh, let myself out. <laughs> back. Don't follow me. We are gonna turn back the hands of time, the bygone years reconstructing themselves. I want you to go back to before the adoption. Yeah, sure, put everyone in the room. <laughs> but he's there too. Gabriel. Uh -huh. I'm the only one that can see you. But she's sleeping, I guess. Really? You mean like a good surprise? God, what an effect. Oh, oh shit. Addison! Cut her. Right now, I tell you beforehand, you will be back with us. It's a mislead. <laughs> Are you saying that the killer is your imaginary friend? Yeah, that's where we were at. It's pretty much, yeah. That's, <laughs> that's what we, we've been at for a while, right? Yep. Is there something that I'm missing? <laughs> English, please. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's real. I mean, Gabriel seems like a pretty real guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> from everything that's happened. <laughs> Do we know who she is yet? Not aside from just or the does he tor just... Tor tor scenario, yeah. <laughs> but she must be connected. Oh. Maybe she's the real mom? Maybe. She still looks pretty young. Somebody else from the Institute? Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> oh, 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 no! Oh! <laughs> Oh, no. no fucking way. <laughs> what a reveal. <laughs> Wait, that was in her actual house? It wasn't like, it just like she made a connection or something, right? It seemed like it was yeah, the actual Yeah, because he wasn't house. there killing her. Yeah, she just up and escaped. Ha 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 ha. No. Stop lying to us. I'm telling the fucking truth. Who am I talking to? She had eye movie on her phone. So. And this is her first ever voice movie. <laughs> Who are you, Gabriel? The devil. Maybe she's a psychic and she's projecting these things. She was remanded to our care by the Simeon Research Hospital. It says here they've been shuttered since the 90s. So it's just been sitting there empty? Sorry, I don't know. That was before my time. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Hang up on you. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Meanwhile, in Resident Evil. I got that dark by the time she got there? Yeah, it's a really long, windy run. <laughs> 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 Looks close. <laughs> it fools you. It's like so dark. <laughs> Not worth it. I'd wait till the day. I would bring literally anyone with me. <laughs> Oh god. Just walk right into fucking Castlevania. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh 
Gotta at least bring a camera and <laughs> upload some of this. Are you sure you want to do this, Serena? Mama won't help me. She called my pregnancy a transgression against God. I don't know how to look after them on my own. He's an abomination. It's her child. I guess. Please look after Emily. Don't worry, you can have peace of No, wait, that's her mom. That's Yeah. Because <laughs> McKenna Grace is little... Is little... Uh, she must have had them both. Maybe they're twinsies. Even better. Yeah. Oh, and that must be her. Yeah, I called it. Yeah, young mom. I got one reveal. Got a young mom. He won't wake up, I promise. I've given him a heavy sedative. It's probably why you're feeling sleepy, too. We just wanted a private moment with you without Gabriel listening in. He's been telling me to do things, bad things, to hurt people. Gabriel makes me strong. Sometimes he speaks words. He pretends to be nice, but he's the devil. Oh. I'm going to wake him up. Why don't you come? Around after I've injected him. What exactly is Gabriel? Gabriel is an extreme version of a teratoma. A tumor consisting of tissues, hair, teeth, muscles, bones, but more specifically in this case, it's a parasitic twin. Is. <laughs> and a developed twin is dependent on the body of the other. Like a parasite, Gabriel feeds off Emily. It's malignant. <laughs> We're starting to suspect that Gabriel can somehow access the regions of the brain that process visual stimuli and make Emily see what he wants her to see. This would explain her recent claims of hallucinations. Why is no one stopping this? Not one other person willing to jump in. Why are they doing No bailiff or anything or warden. Wow. It is Zoe Bell. Because they literally share the same brain, I think he's able to trick her mind and make her think she's living her life as usual, essentially placing her in a mental prison, when in reality, Gabriel has hijacked her body and is using it himself. Uh. Uh. It's time to cut out the cancer. Gabriel's parasitic nature has increased significantly as he's now siphoning more fluids and nutrients, uh. resulting in severe weight loss. Uh. <laughs> Gabriel is conjoined at the brain. So full removal. Wow. Wow. The course of action would be to remove what we can and suppress the rest. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Is that the stunt woman, Zoe? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Zoe Bell. <laughs> That's why Gabriel walks the way he walks. That's why he's all backwards like. Oh man. Oh! <laughs> oh! Wow! Oh! 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 
Gabriel's mad strong. I love how she's pushing everybody in the way now. Oh! Wow! Oh. How did Gabriel make the phone call? I'm not sure. Just brainwave shit? Just telepathically through the electricity, yeah, yeah. I guess. <laughs> when Derek smashed Madison's head against the wall, it woke Gabriel up. Oh. So that shot was a symbolic. It was. Yeah, good call. Oh. No need. Yeah. Why the fuck is Damn. Gabriel able to do all this shit? I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Ah, oh, dang. Oh. Oh, sh sh Show me the making of on that shot. Oh, dang. Oh, Why so much bow breaking? Man. Madison! Trick in her mind. <laughs> nice. Madison! Ooh, oh, no. Oh, that is mean. Is there a detail I missed? <laughs> no, <laughs> this Gabriel is so, it's like an alien. I think he's just an, an evil anomaly of nature. <laughs> <laughs> With insane martial arts yeah. abilities. <laughs> Weapons <Sonic> training. Sonic <laughs> brainwaves. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Attack radios. Telepathy. <laughs> Telepathy. Telekinesis. <laughs> Mind control. <laughs> it's insane. Unless Detective Shaw is here with. Oh, oh. What's wrong? Oh no. Oh, that's mean. Oh, oh my god. Oh, are you having a heart attack? No. My pacemaker. Okay. It's burning. Oh. No, Ruben, no. Oh. Oh. I was saving you for the last. <laughs> Please forgive me. I should never have given you away. You were my son. And I should have loved you no matter what. <laughs> wow. Whoa. What did you do to my sister? She's not your sister. Oh, wow. I know you couldn't hear me. You have to fight him. Madison's not home. Madison, he killed your babies. He was the cause of your miscarriages. Ah. Uh... It. Spider Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> Go save Mary Jean. Tricked her mind. Tricked his mind. Ah, uh, oh, yeah. cool. Yeah. 
Nice reversal. Now I can do all the mind tricks you can. <laughs> <laughs> we share the same brain. <laughs> you don't deserve your body. I can use it better than you. Not anymore. It's over, Gabriel. Now you get to live in a world that I create. You can't lock me in here forever. You'll always be stuck with me. Sooner or later, I will get out. I know. But next time, I'll be ready for you. <laughs> Game over. <laughs> Maddie. Let's go home. <laughs> Get this damn thing off of me. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna lift this off you. No, it's too heavy. It was always my body. If he was strong enough to do this, then so am I. Wow. This is a beautiful story. Get your adrenaline going. Blood or not, you will always be my sister. And I will always love you. I didn't realize that she that's what she was learning this whole movie. Yep. Yep. That she didn't I need thought, to I thought they were to... getting along the whole time as <laughs> sisters. Nah, but you know, if she hadn't been craving bloodlust and <laughs> revenge on behalf of her malignant twin. Does she get what's going incarcerated on? somewhere now? Yeah, that's a great question, because technically, in the eyes of the law, it's her body. <laughs> they, she these... shouldn't just live a normal Rooms. life after this. She should at least be experimented. But there are no more cops to tell the tale, so clean slate. <laughs> no, the guy's alive. He just got hit in the shoulder. Yeah, but he's got a crush on her sister, so he'll go along with anything. <laughs> no, you're, you're, you're right. I don't know how she's not going to go to prison right after this. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's not prison, but or well, some type of institution or, uh, where they yeah. could keep her under control. <laughs> was she just going to tell him, like, no, nah, guys, it's a mental game. I got it. <laughs> <It's Yeah. laughs> I talked to Gabriel. We're fine. Locked him. He's actually, I already did the trial, sentenced him. He's in prison in my brain. So We're actually not talking with you about imprisoning Gabriel. I want you to come work for us. Yeah. Gabriel shows a very particular set of <laughs> skills that we can use in the field. <laughs> Imagine his capabilities with electronics alone. <laughs> and his fighting ability. <laughs> We're talking stopping global terrorism on a massive scale, Gabriel. <laughs> Think of all the places Gabriel could be here. He's our eyes and ears and teeth and flesh inside. Well, <laughs> certainly has the aesthetic and color palette of a gelato, giallo, argento film. Yeah. <laughs> um, a gelatin. Yeah. <laughs> it is a, <coughs> it is a very strange indeed. I'd I'd be lying if I said I did not enjoy it. I I quite enjoyed this. It is uh, it is very fun. It's very campy, and I and I really I really like too. Thinking back on it, um, thinking is how the trailers only showed you like pretty much stuff from the first like thirty minutes of this movie. Yeah, they don't show you a a lot and I thought that and I said it like a gazillion times I'm like I really get the idea well I thought it would be a slower paced more deliberate film yeah like I, I I was I was picking up on the trailers being something that is very different than I'm like they, they're clearly trying to advertise this like a James Wan movie that you've seen before but it's not going to be that yeah, yeah. really got that sense that there was a mislead that not a mislead but a 
a bad marketing uh, when it came to the trailers for it to make it just kind of look like a, a lower, it felt like a lesser budget, more cheesy version of what he's done before. Mm. And then, I mean, that's just how I felt about the trailers. Uh, maybe you like the trailers. Uh, Cause I, I enjoyed the trailers because I could see past what they were actually presenting. <laughs> yeah. I didn't expect this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not yeah, going to yeah, act. Yeah. I'm not going to act like a know it all <laughs> who expected this shit though. I didn't, I knew it would not be what the trailers were, yeah. but I thought it would be something way different <laughs> <laughs> because usually all this stuff that was happening in the first half hour would happen much later in a typical horror movie yeah. or even in a typical James Wan horror movie that stuff would happen later and then it was just happening fast i'm like oh damn we're getting all this trailer shit out of the way already you know like the suspense and build up and then uh yeah as it kept going you started getting a better i started getting a better sense of the tone with like um it's di- the way the dialogue was specifically being handled uh where it it, it did have a bit of that like very on the nose 70s horror kind of vibe where it felt like it was like it, it was like a really good looking B movie. Like it, it was just, like James Bond was just having so much fun with the camera and the editing. Um, I love the way he handles perspective and and messing with what you'd expect a horror scene to go down. Like I thought, like the first half of this movie managed to ring out a, a lot of tension uh, and and scenes where you're like, it's gonna happen. It's here. No, no, not happening here. But then. Uh, the way the reveal started happening in the last half, once he, when she goes to visit her mom, and the way how all that just escalatingly just gets more and more bizarre, yeah. <laughs> it just got so weird. Uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said I didn't enjoy it because I still felt I, I could feel the purpose of direction here. Like it never read to me like James Wan didn't intend for it to communicate the way it communicates. Yeah. And so when you can hear and feel the authenticity of a director's voice, then it makes it easier for me to get on board with shit that and other movies could actually come across as unintentionally bad or unintentionally cheesy. Yeah. It always felt purposeful. Yeah. <laughs> so that's why the emotional association to the way it turned out was like, I'm enjoying this. This yeah. is <laughs> this is silly. This is insane. The last half gets like so weird that I'm like, I wouldn't really have it any other way. I would like some shit. I'm not going to lie, though. There are things where I'm like, I would like some explanation on some things. Unless they just flew over my head or I missed the line of dialogue that, um, you know, that, that just didn't occur to me because i was like i just don't get what this gabriel guy is <laughs> exactly like i get i love the idea of how it's like yeah it's, it was born with um i don't know the, the real name's emily what's madison madison yeah, yeah. um it, how it's born with madison and i love that it has this like sci-fi B movie horror effect it, it, like how they did like a practical effects yeah to uh, it felt like out of, you know, when you eat like a Romero film to a certain extent or something more schlocky than that. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Something, it almost reminded me of like Basket Case or something or, or even like a Cronenberg. Like when Cronenberg is a much really better call. Yeah. Yeah. Cronenberg yeah. is much better call. Yeah. Yeah. That like gross body horror thing. Yeah. And, and I mean, I feel like the tone and the camp that is present here is what helps to bring that all around because I haven't seen like a million Giallo films and this is, you know, updating that style and adding other, I mean, yeah. kind of everything from James Wan's repertoire. Uh, but there is it, something... It really felt like he did a Giallo aesthetic, but his film. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, it feels like a James Wan movie, but now it's bringing in some of those stylistic earmarks. And from those genre of films that I have seen you know like they they are strange and campy and they do go sort of insane and shrill 
by the end. And some of them, like, I feel like this is more modern because it doesn't take as much time to s build up. You're not slow burning until some kind of crazy payoff. Here, there is a crazy payoff, but you're more ramping up and you're feeling the tension back yeah. and forth throughout. And I think that he does a nice job of putting Madison in her own world that is kind of like, yeah, stark and a bit chilling. And at times, like, you know, the most dramatic stuff in the movie is centered around and anchored to her. And then everybody else is sort of on the outside looking in. And so I feel like that helps to sell, yeah, the more blunt dialogue that comes from, like, the cops and stuff like that. Because everybody else is on the outside. There's a weird, crazy circumstance that she's involved in. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, like, it as a concept... It's so high concept. You know, it, it is one of those things that, like, you know, you would expect to see in, like, an old horror serial or comic. You know, it's, like, it's a real phenomenon of, like, oh, well, yeah, people were born with, like, you know, the, the material, like, they describe it in the movie. But, yeah, like, you know, the genetic materials for a twin or something, but it just isn't formed. And so, like, you take that nugget of a real idea, you know, there's teeth or an eye or there's, you know, tissue and then just expound that out into, you know, mm. like I could see the log line easily. And I think what helps this movie along is that, yeah, like it has a master craftsman behind it who knows how to both elevate the chills and, and give you all the fun and punchiness that you want, but also actually care to capture the performances and actually give it a mood and a tone yeah. beyond all that. Well, so this is sci-fi horror, and I think that was... That was the genre I did not know would be associated yeah. here. I thought it would be pure supernatural terror. Mm -hmm. Then, I, and but the the intro, uh, the prologue for it, which I thought was a necessary prologue. Yeah. Because if you don't have that prologue and you just start off with Madison coming home pregnant domestically by like, it. it it is so grounded yeah. in the beginning, <laughs> like it's so grounded with Madison's story in the in the beginning, and it felt like oh, we're walking into one of those horror movies, like uh, those psychological horror films that are about trauma. And, yeah, we're which spend is a which lot is still time. that's it, it is that that's still here, but you know usually those are like a Hereditary or a Baba Duke, you know something along those lines. Or a good night, mommy. Like that. That. That's what I thought we were getting. Like, oh, is this like creepy mother story? Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Because that's how the vibe and the and the the because it's weird. I like how colorful this movie is, and um, how how expertly framed everything is. Uh, there, there. He still has that like washed out gray aesthetic that he brought with the first Saw movie. And even like it, dead silence and dead, and yeah, like those that, yeah. those procedural stuff. Like, because he, he brings back that procedural quality he loves to mess with, yeah, and um, which he hasn't done in a while. Yeah. So he brings that back here, and uh, so yeah, I thought it was just going to be a much more patient film. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I'm like in the first twenty minutes, like even if you don't have the prologue, it it just kicks off pretty quick, and. The 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 prologue though really helps you to set up the t what this world is, and then it, when you go into Madison, that's what the world slowly becomes. Like yeah. it starts off real, and then it slowly tur turns into this uh, into this uh, uh, this this crazy ass <laughs> ride of a movie that yeah. just gets <laughs> it's so insane to the point where it's not scary anymore. Because yeah. like I thought the first half was scarier, it's chilling and intense, yeah. But then the last half just becomes like crazy reveals and action scenes and violence and gore. <laughs> but it but it works for yeah. me. It works for me. I can't can't act like it doesn't work. It well, works. Yeah. <laughs> I th I think that does work. A because you know you you got to keep building. And if you are going to do a movie that is clear, like no no no, we're gonna start getting bonkers right away. And I, like I I think it it brings it around nicely that yeah you tie it to once she gets cracked in the head at the beginning that's when the phenomenon starts yeah. really happening and so that helps to sell the action but i also feel like because there is so much that comes out of james wan's repertoire it's important that yeah he go and crest into a next yeah. level of bonkersness and pretty much like right when you get that chase between gabriel and and k uh, and, you know, he's doing all sorts of martial arts and parkour and jumping up through the ceiling. I'm like, yeah, we're in a different level of movie now. Well, you know, it's that it's a, it's a spin on the twist of the, 
the killer is the protagonist. Yeah, it's a yeah. spin on it because the the movie tell, tells you that right away. Mm-hmm. It it tells you right up front that the killer is her. You know, and, and every little cl- like not only did they say it in the dialogue with the detectives, but every clue points to her. But the movie does such a good job at differentiating them. And because of its rules of what Gabriel can do, it has you going for a while. Like, OK, clearly there's some type of real deep personal connection between the two. Yeah. That is something else. But what is it? But it, but the killer is not her. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it has you go in there like, OK, this obviously it has to be a mislead that the killer's not her. Yeah. <laughs> and it's technically not her. It's just her body, <laughs> you know? Yeah, but it still <laughs> falls close enough into that category, that trope, and that twist to yeah. be kind of a clever play on that kind of movie. Of yeah. the split personality yeah. twist that we've seen done a million times by now in films that are not even horror, but like yeah. just psychological thrillers or suspenseful films or whatever. Yeah, yeah so like it's a, it's a fresh... <laughs> it's more than just a split. Per- it's not. It's not even really a split personality because it, it is a completely different being, uh, a twin taking over her brain. Um, with <laughs> just, it's just so see, like I could totally, I totally see why people would not like this movie though. Oh I, yeah, I completely get. I'm not. I can't go out there and try to convince anyone. This is one of those movies where you're like it either works for you or, or it really, or really doesn't is gonna work lose for you. you. But, I, but I think James Wan, like he's one of the few directors who, like I don't like every one of his movies. I don't, I'm not a fan of Insidious 2 and uh, I'm not a big Aquaman fan to be honest. Um, like, <laughs> but for the most part, I'm usually a big fan of his, I think the key word is I'm a big fan of his voice. I usually understand where he's, what he's going for and what he's doing and so when it's that kind of thing where sometimes it's it's the experience of sometimes i might not and it's not more than james wan sometimes i don't like a director's movie but then if i like read interviews or or see what it is or go sound like what i have with Zack snyder you know yeah. like of like i don't i didn't really like this but then once i started understanding deeper what they were going for then i would watch their movies then i would go oh i can see and feel it now and now i really like it and it's the same, but sometimes with James Wan, that just sort of clicks for me right away. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. this is one of those movies where it just clicked for me uh, early on because the way it, it weirdly, it's not, it's more than just the, because there's, what I think is great is that there's, there is so much fun visuals and creepiness and horror going yeah. on from beginning to end. It's not like, it's been 10 minutes. We need a horror scene. Yeah. <laughs> you know, absolutely. Like it, it's kind of just there for most of it. Yeah. And the parts where it, it's shot a little flat are with the cops. Yeah. You know, when in the begin in like the first half of this movie where it is just that gray palette and the, but the way the dial, what, what hit me is the way the dialogue is done and the transitions with the music cues and the zoom ins and stuff. I'm like, oh, the real tone of this movie is actually. Yeah established in the dialogue scenes yeah (laughs) that helps dictate a lot of how the experience of this movie went for me yeah um i think i think when it really hit me was when uh, madison starts telling her sister on the bed uh, that she's adopted and how that scene was handled. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, I get this. Like, that's when I was like, I get what this movie is now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, and I mean, there are elements to that where it's like even the parts that become, that feel more gray in comparison to the more uh, bombastic and, and crazy lit sequences, like it, it starts to feel like an aspect of the oppressive world around and it's, like, it's always raining and, and, you know, it's like it starts to feel, it adds to the dreariness of the situation that the protagonist is going through even though i feel like for this kind of movie you know we do jump around between a good amount of different things there's still kind of like a pace that's percolating that doesn't seem like it's too apt to take its time but it's weird because you spend this whole movie going what is the twit like what is gonna be the outcome and in some ways when you get to the end you're like oh it's all there and it's all pretty simple once you get to the end and yet there are these stylistic elements and these choices that then start to take on a greater life just as you're sitting here kind of picking them all apart and thinking back as to like, like this was really good at making me forget about things and really just pulling me into scenes so I wasn't sitting there going but there's gonna be a creature thing coming back because we saw that in the prologue you know like I think he's really good at, at, at using kind of everything it's like the, the filmmaking choices are really alive and they're 
these beautiful angles to behold that all seem to, and these camera motions that all seem very well chosen. They're not too in your face flashy, but they are very stylized still. They're yeah. very, and and yeah, like it all goes to serve just this wacky ride and i think that's part of the spirit of the movies this is drawing from is yeah it is either going to be very much for you or very much not and that's part of the fun is that yeah like at the end of the day the the kernel of the concept here is a schlocky high concept thing it really really is but it's it's what's fun though is that it knows it's that but it chooses to be shot incredibly well yeah you know yeah. like it, it it's modern it's james wanisms throughout this whole movie so it, it he doesn't half-ass the the craftsmanship Anything, yeah. of the way it's captured and that's it it's 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 unique voice i mean what other horror movie are you gonna watch these days that it's gonna that's gonna be like this like yeah. there's nothing like it and as much as i thought like it's I mean it just got so rid it it's weird. It, it, there, I, I'm a little conflicted on the police breakout scene. Uh, uh, not not so much when 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 she's with the prisoners. Yeah, and she like rips open the back of her head. Yeah. Uh, it's it's more so uh, when she's fighting in the actual big. Yeah, and it's just a prison. and it's just a straight up action What's scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like it's only it's only an action scene at that and point. It's that one take where she's just decimating fools like it's the church. Yeah, scene yeah. Kingsman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. I thought. I was just thinking of actually the the King's Man Rasputin fight scenes okay. I've seen so far. Yeah, I'm like that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, Which also, uh, but that's what bar. I mean. It feels like he's been doing. It felt like this was like all of his movies in one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and and even it's funny because you start it out and I'm like you know and then you look at the first saw and that's a great example of a movie that isn't as bloody as you remember it feels and 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 there certainly is some but like this movie started out and I was like oh man this is like gory and mean and bloody and stuff like that but there's also and and most of that like practical effects practical creature work uh and then really well chosen CGI because that effect of like the world melting and fusing into different settings and things like that. And I don't understand the choice to aesthetically do it that way. Uh, that's fair. I mean, I, no, man, I get, I get the choice. I, I get the choice of like messing with her mind and all that. I just like kind of that like dissolving, watery, bubbly effect. I didn't, I didn't yeah. understand. I, I'm, I know there's a. That's the thing is, I know there's a reason that was chosen, and I, I can't pinpoint it. Yeah, because it has a very, yeah, it has like a, uh, it almost feels like it's bubbling or it's like tangible, but then there are aspects of it that do feel almost like a digital simulation. Like it is, yeah. I think because it's so kind of hard to pin as to like, what is this effect aside from CGI? <laughs> mm. But uh, but even so, just like the way those moments were placed and chosen and the way that that one, I mean, like it is funny because I didn't really... I noticed it in both of those scenes, the fight with the one cop and the fight later. I was like, these are just fights. These are just action scenes. These aren't like horror set pieces. These are fights. And uh, and yeah, like that one take at the end is like stitched together with some CGI, but it looks really good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's like there is a silliness almost about like you're watching a a horror demon guy and there's two sides on his head and half the time I'm like, oh yeah, you're just a stunt man with a mask on the back of your head. But at the same time, something about all that comes together and, and sells the sort of, uh, it, like there's so much happening all mm -hmm. the time and there's so much craftsmanship all the time that it's hard to not be swept up in some aspect of it. You know? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I don't really know where I rank it right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure either. I but I definitely, I definitely recommend it only because if I wouldn't know how to talk about this movie properly or feel like I'm doing a thorough enough job if it wasn't a spoiler discussion. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, like I would honestly hate to do a non-spoiler talk on this because I'd just be like, it's kind of weird. <laughs> it's, it's a lot to take in. Saying, it's off the walls. I'd be saying all kinds of genres and stuff, but uh, I I enjoyed it a lot. I, yeah. I definitely did, and it seems like the kind of movie that I will like even more the more I think about it. Yeah, and it's definitely uh, distinct. And I love that it is one of those films that it's like it's so committed to what it is that you're either gonna 
really not like this. Yeah. Or you're going to think it's pretty you're cool. <laughs> yeah. Delighted yeah. to have seen. Because, cause, yeah, because of all the horror flicks I've seen in a while, I feel like this one is going to. I what uh, this just feels unique. I would rather watch this any day over The Conjuring Three. Yeah, no, yeah, any this felt like the, I was seeing something with clearly a, in with sp- a specific voice. Yeah, yeah, with a specific voice, and that feels fresh and not like what I'm used to seeing in horror movies right now, even if it is borrowing from the past. Like this feels like oh, that's the most unique horror movie I've seen in a minute. That just feels like it's its own movie. <laughs> And yeah. It's not too beholden to a million other movies, even though it's borrowing some style. Uh, the music's cool, and I would also say that uh, who's Annabelle Wallace? Yes. Where's she from? I've seen her, and I couldn't pinpoint it. I know she's not one of them Hill House people. Maybe other horror. <laughs> like there were two kids from Hill House in this. <laughs> like. Well, McKenna Grace was also in Annabelle, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or two and three. Or is just Annabelle. Oh, she's one of the kid of the Warrens, right? Yeah. No, am I wrong about that? I don't she's remember. She's all over every. I don't know. Those those Conjuring movies get messed up memory. in my head. McKenna Grace is in every ghost thing right now. The like, okay. What I really wish is a better explanation for. Anyway, yeah, the lead actress is really great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. She's got an interesting and she hits she hits the right to mark have to play in a movie like this. She hits yeah. the right mark here, which it's like it's the right mark. Uh, this is a movie that where everyone needs to kind of understand the tone mm-hmm. um, and the right pitch to do it, where you're not overdoing it, where you're performing the you're like playing the tone and not being the tone. You got to be hysterical without playing hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. I think everyone has kind of that same job of hitting the right mark on the tone where you're not overdoing it, where we're like, we're intentionally going for cheesy. Yeah. But it can't lack self-awareness. It can't lack. It has to be sincere (laughs) but self-aware. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of weird how you have to hit that right that just that right mark of samurai cop yeah <laughs> <laughs> that's what the true inspiration was for this James Wan was like how can i pay it's tribute like a, to the greatest well made, movie samurai well made samurai cop is kind of the vibe i got <laughs> um, a plus uh, finally yeah. that's what we've all been waiting for uh yeah it's um I enjoyed it. Uh, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. And um, after sitting here for two hours covering something else, and then immediately sitting here, it, 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 it was pretty flew by. Yeah, yeah. I can't. I can't act like this wasn't like this is. Uh, this is I, I would want more movies like this to check out because it it commits to its concept and it builds and it has a great pace about it to this to the idea of how it. It, it progressively grows, but it, yeah. it, it it while it gets like really big, and I never thought it got too big uh, to the point where you need to cut it out. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I thought it it it, not, it it got to where it needed to go to, and it it builds just right for me. Like mm-hmm. the first half is the kind of movie you sort of expect, yeah, and then the last half is not what you'd expect, nope. and I like that yeah. so. Uh, yeah, it builds just right. But guys, what did you think about Malignant? <laughs> Curious to know what you got to say. Subscribe, click that bell, hit that like button. You can check us on Patreon. Thanks for being here.